I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. We're going to set up a mock Charleston and practice making decisions during the Charleston. The Charleston is a powerful part of the game because if you make the right decisions at the right time, you can transform your dealt hand and have a strong position going into the next phase of the game when you pick one tile at a time. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do this exercise three times and we'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then we'll get 13 tiles, and then 14 again. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each exercise. We have a north, a pair of red dragons, one, three, four, six, nine in cracks, two, five, six in dots with a pair of fives, three, five, or three, six in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would try to play something that will use the dragons and this pair of fives. Five dragon. We could maybe try for a little odd hand. We could maybe try for something consecutive. Maybe even keep the sixes. Three, four, five, six. Oh, here's a one, three for little odds. Let those go and we need one more tile. One, three, five, one, three, five, three, four, five, six. I think I would let that go. Really, there's not a lot we can do with that two because it's so isolated from the five dot pair. So let's start with three, four, five, six or little odds. We've got a one. So now we have one, three. I would continue to gather nine north. So we need to let something go. I think we're trending towards the little side. So I'd probably let a six go here. Let's see here. Five, six. Let's let that six go. Here's a four, four, five, six, dragons, and a south. So that can go one crack pair, five dot pair, dragon, dragon, one, three, four, no two for the dragon. So that doesn't really work. Let's see here. I think I would still keep the dragons for a bit. Maybe pass the six bam. Let's see, we have four, five, six, three, four, three. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Okay, we have three, four. Here we could maybe do three, four, five, six dragon. Second hand down under consecutive run. Three, four, five, three, four. Let's let the six go, the three bam, and this four crack. We have one, three, three, five. No gaps. Let's just see what happens. A flower and a one crack. Here's a seven options four, five, six, seven dragon. Right across left, left we're going across. So now we have to dig into the nitty gritty because technically we have all keepers, either little odds or 
uh, consecutive run with dragons, and that's probably what I would focus on. I would not pass a flower. So I would probably, let's see, pung, single, single, pair. One, three, three, five. But we've got here three multiples versus two multiples for one, three, five. I'd break this up. Break that up probably next. I would not pass a pair. Since I wouldn't pass like numbers with threes, I would let the seven go. Three, four, five, six, dragon. Three. That's a keeper. Okay, now this, that's getting a little risky, but we've got th four multiples in here. All we need is a six dot and another dragon. I would risk this. This is last right. Okay, no keepers. So I would just go ahead and pass these. No keepers. So we have five discards. I would probably keep that because we could do three, four, five, one suit Kongs. Four discards with options. I would say we're an underdog until we get some keepers in here. If we play the second hand down, we could pung here, pung here. We need a pair here and another dragon. So I would probably focus on the second hand down under consecutive run. And still, I would say we're an underdog because we've got those clear discards plus the flower. If you would do something differently with all these tiles, write pull one in the comment section below and let me know what you would do with the tiles. And include that with pull one. Joker, West, one of each dragon, one, three, four, five, seven in cracks, pair four, pair five, nine dot, single. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start here, three, uh, four, five, four, five, and I would keep the three, maybe even the one, and the dragons. That leaves us with three tiles. Maybe the second hand down or the fifth hand down, I think it is, the dragon hand. Let's pass these three. A six. That's an option tile. Five, six. Okay, it's getting a little risky there. This one is isolated. If we had a two, I'd keep it, but I think I would let it go here. Three, four, five, six, dragon. Whoa, pair north. I would give up one of these dragons. Let's see, we could pung, pung, but we have no pairs. Here we have a pair. So maybe, maybe let the white dragon go because we could still play the second hand down with the green dragon or the corresponding dragon hand. Whoa, this is getting so risky. Let's pass these three. Oh, wait, you know what? We can mitigate the risk. There we go. An eight, we have three, four, five. I would not be distracted by that eight crack. 
Okay, we have a red dragon. This can go. Here's a flower. We have tiles we can pass. Let's see here. We can do three, four, five, or four, five, six flower, or the dragon hand. Eight crack. Nope, don't need it. No keepers. This one went a little better. I would just keep these and gather. When we run out of these discards, then I would pick a hand. But we could maybe play the corresponding dragon hand or the third hand down one suit Kongs with flowers. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull two in the comment section below the video and let me know what you would have played. Joker, pair of flowers, red and green dragon, three six in dots, three six in bams, one, two, three, four in cracks with a pair of twos. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start here two crack pair two crack pair flowers so what can we do with a two crack pair and a flower pair one two three four one two three or two three four with a pair of flowers two crack pair i would probably keep the threes because we could do maybe something consecutive but we have like numbers with sixes. I would let the dragons go and then let probably the three bam go. So maybe pass three, six, dragon. Hmm. Two crack pair. All right. Oh, I forgot to set up the Charleston. So let's pass these three. Mm -hmm. We have a four bam. One, two, three, four. Let's pass these three. Four crack. I'd probably let these go. Two, three, four, one through four. I suppose we could keep the dragon, even though we already let it go. We have tiles we can pass right here. A pair of souths. We want to break that up. Here's a matching dragon. Two, three, four. Hmm. Four crack or four bam with a green dragon. Let's pass the red one. Three. And we have tiles we can pass. No keepers, like numbers with twos. I would break it up and pass the east. No keepers. How about passing two, nine, eight? Ah! 
the dragon. It's hopping to get into our hand here. Okay, we're trying to escape, I suppose. It's a discard. So I would probably play two, three, four Kongs with flowers. Discard that. Five discards. Hand with no gaps, which is good, but we do have a lot of discards. I would just gather, maybe even keep this one for a while. If you would have done something different with these tiles, right? Pull three and let me know in the comment section below what you would have done. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange your tiles and then look for the strength of the hand. The strength of the hand will be with a multiple if you have one. Gather the supporting tiles for the multiple and choose a category that will use most of your tiles. If you don't have a multiple, choose the predominant pattern and that will be when you have most of your tiles that point to a particular category on the card. So target multiples or go with a predominant pattern. Either way, gather. Gather for the strength of the hand and then when you have only keepers for whatever category you've chosen, then pick a hand and whittle out more discards so you can keep going. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.